That's the first thing. The okay. second thing is pagination or paging, right? You're going across 2000 records. So you're totally right. You need to basically break that uh, up, especially if you're doing any sort of um, additional operation on that query. So it looks like, and I know Josh is here for the same reason. Um, it looks like Bravo supports pagination. Yes. So at least Bravo, they're saying uh, they support pagination, but not the pagination that exists within Zano. Are we still seeing my screen? Yep. Yeah, we see Bravo pagination. Studio now. Yep. Yeah, so Bravo Studio, this is the setup that they have. Uh, so you can choose from offset, page, or seek. And at this point, if it's okay, I can hand over control to, 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 to yeah, to, if you'd like to. Basically, what you would do in Xano, um, you would set up the pagination in this endpoint, and you'd actually pass um, the page parameter uh, as a parameter um, versus this guy here. So I can, I mean, I can show you that real quick. Yeah, it, it looks like in the documentation, you just, you can only pass the page parameter. So you, it'd be like question mark page equals five. So I think as, as long as Bravo accepts that, then it should work. So actually let's first, just turn on paging. So, and I'm for now not going to include metadata just because that changes the response. Yeah. Um, you can even have a per page override or you can have that hard coded in, but let's just leave that at 25 for now. Does that sound okay? Okay. Okay. How many total okay. records do you have, Josh? No, it's like new 15 because I haven't uh, fully tabulated the, yeah. Because okay. this is a filter, it's a sub of the full listing. 25, 15. Yeah. Okay, so that's step one, turn on paging. And what we wanna do is we wanna be able to override it from the front end. So that's where that external tab comes in. So what I'm gonna do, instead of passing in uh, a JSON input, we can pass in just to integer. And we'll just call this page, so the page number you want. And we're going to create a variable. I'm going to call this external paging. This is going to be our JSON object. We're just going to create it in the function stack. First going to set the path of the page. Make sure that's text. Okay, and the value will be our input. Uh -huh. So then if you also wanted to do a per page um, override, so you would add it's another fun. input here and you would do set again and you would call the path per page and you'd map that up to your other input. But this will just be the page number for now. And we'll just need to drag this above query all records because we need to create that first. And then very important, we go to this external tab and map up our variable. And we're just doing a page override. So we can just check for that. Okay. Um, great. So now if we go back to Bravo Studio, we should have parameters in here. So we can have a test value of one or two, even if we want. Um, but yeah, so now passing in whatever page you want as a parameter here, will change the page of the results. Can we try to, can we test execute? Yeah. Um, is this the right place to send? Click on body, Michael. Oh, query parameters. That's where we send it. Page. That's where you send your inputs in Bravo. 
Oh. There you go. How many records? Let's see. Uh, we did 15. You click on all so you can see it's working. Yeah. Michael, go ahead. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they're 15. Yep. Hey. So you can see my screen. Yes. I went and made a reference to this uh, Bravo uh, Bravo documentation, and you need to pass this particular parameter for it to, if especially if you're using an app and you, and you want it to go to the next page. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. the way we had set it up uh, with, with my Bravo. With, uh, sorry, I think uh, uh, Zoom is again. Uh, yeah, there, there you go. So once you pass the parameters here, you have to come to pagination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since Zano uses page type uh, of pagination, you need to update this parameter here because this is what we pass to the backend. I see. Otherwise, without this, it will just be stuck on the first page. Okay. I so see. It doesn't. It, it doesn't add on to it doesn't add the, the the rest of the listings but once you update this parameter here and you set your default page there the the page network works just not okay josh thank so you, you so much i'll make sure that this gets yeah. appended to that video so it can help the rest of the bravo xano community okay okay thanks and i, I think uh, thanks for your help and your team and with that i'll add humbly request to, to to break out break out of there yeah Thank you so much. Take care, Josh. Happy building. Thanks.